Twitters from the Atlantic by Barry Mahoney. It makes me feel alive. My regular visits to the airport often give me the opportunity to indulge in one of my favourite pastimes, people watching. Although I tend to avoid the misery of departures like the plague, watching the arrivals is always an entertaining business. Spot where they're from is a, quite an easy game for me to play nowadays, and one I rather enjoy. I can easily spot an Irishman, a German or a Spanish national with just a quick glance, although defining which Scandinavian country the tourist is from does require a much more detailed observation. It's amazing how comedy stereotypes of the individual characteristics of different nationalities are often so true. As for spotting an Englishman, well, that is just so easy. Although I do sometimes get them confused with Germans. Uh, the two nationalities are alike in so many ways. This time my eye was drawn to a young man in a wheelchair, being pushed by an elderly woman from the arrivals lounge and into the main airport corridor. He looked painfully thin, with a pallid, unhealthy-looking skin, and his frail body was strapped into his wheelchair. An elderly man followed the wheelchair, pushing several suitcases on one of the airport trolleys, and it was clear that these passengers did not travel light. I immediately recognised the Welsh accent as being from the valleys, when the elderly woman began speaking to the young man. However, I could not decide whether the elderly couple accompanying the young man were his elderly parents or his grandparents. The young man beamed as soon as he was pushed into the corridor. Look, Ma, look, he shouted. The sun, the sun shining on our island again. The old lady nodded. Yes, Colin, it is. You like it here, don't you? She took a tissue out of her pocket and wiped the young man's mouth gently. Colin caught my eye. I smiled. He beamed at me, displaying a broad, toothy smile. It was a genuine smile, a smile full of happiness and joy. Hello, I said. You look really pleased to be here. Hope you had a good flight. Colin nodded and beamed again. I love it here. I always love it here. It makes me feel alive. I smiled and nodded and wished the young man a happy holiday and moved on to my next errand. Later, whilst at the post office, I began to think about the young man and his elderly parents. His words, it makes me feel alive, played on my mind. Colin was clearly disabled physically as well as mentally. He looked so poorly, yet I've rarely seen a smile so broad and genuine, a smile of pure elation and joy as I did on this young man. As I was leaving the airport, I spotted Colin's father waiting for a taxi. I suspected that they were waiting for one especially designed for disabled visitors. Colin's going to have a really good time, I said. I can see it on his face. The old man nodded. Yes, we try to come here as much as we can. He loves the island and he's so much better when he's here. We don't know how much longer Colin will be with us, but we want to make sure that each day is special for him. He gives us so much joy. I left the airport with a lump in my throat, reflecting about this very special young man and his caring, loving parents. I hope the family have a truly wonderful holiday and that Colin can store many happy memories for their future. Happiness and joy is contained within us and is a state of mind. It need not be connected to our health, mental and physical abilities. The amount of money that we have or the amount of booze that we can consume. I think I'm beginning to understand what Colin meant when he said, it makes me feel alive. If you enjoyed this Twitter, do have a look at my website, www.barrymahoney.com. And thank you for listening.